Hi, welcome. One of the fun things in VirtualBox is the fact that you can actually install something like we've done just uh, earlier on and go for an Arch Linux installation, but just stop in the nick of time when you start installing and choosing your desktop. So I can actually clone this thing. It contains a complete Arch Linux um, setup from May and you can decide to just install another um, well desktop that's basically it so we can have lots of desktops uh, we have 16 of them so a control alt g is going to launch my chromium and then you go for well our linux info is good always a good place because you can link to all the other websites and i need to choose i need to choose a, one of these right awesome bspw budgie cinnamon Deep in Gnome, Herbs, Loof, I've chosen already. It's gonna be Cinnamon. It's as simple as that. Just click on one of these guys, set to choose. Okay, Cinnamon, what do I need to know? Well, nothing really. That's it. Now, if you wanna know more, there is something you could check out. On the Arclinux Info website, there is a cheat sheet and I've printed it out and it's sitting there waiting for me to just uh, take a look at it, right? So. Download the cheat sheet. It's been downloaded 6,626 times. So why not you being the 600, 6,627 times? So it's just about Lego blocks. What do you want to have? Cinnamon, but maybe also the Nemo file roller and GNOME journal and Cinnamon translations, Mint Locale and so on. So it's a little bit more than just say, I'm gonna install just Cinnamon, which is okay, right? But this is just finish, finish the desktop, right? With all the correct Lego blocks. Cinnamon. So what we do is a Arch Linux installation on BIOS in this case. And top here is UFI. Doesn't really matter just the way how it's uh, uh, divided. But in the sense, um, what we're not going to do now is just double click. Okay, great. We're on the correct screen that I'm recording on. And it's already done. So the ISO is already is still in there, but the grub is installed, Xorg is there. And for drivers, we don't need any drivers because we're in virtual box. But behind here, so light DM is there, but behind there, there's still nothing. So control, so virtual box, right? Otherwise it's control alt F2, TTY, virtual box, right control on the keyboard, and then F203 and just choose one. That was not successful. Let's go again. So Control F3, for example, gives you TTY3. All I need to remember is the word cinnamon, pseudo Pacman. Oh, let's get my, that's not possible. I thought this much. Well, let's just figure it out. So Pacman. So I am on an Azerty keyboard trying to type in QWERTY things, not typing Eric, cinnamon reset, cinnamon, that's it. Yay. And that's it really, just one word and you ha will have a desktop and then you can keep on adding more Lego blocks to it. And that's why the cheat sheet is there. That's why Arclinx B is there, why Arclinx D is there. So check it out what it all is, what the difference is. It's just awesome to play around with all these uh, well, Lego blocks from either Arch Linux, either Arch Linux or AWAR. And the combination of them gives you freedom and gives you flexibility, gives you lots of choices. You can completely rearrange and rechange whatever you uh, want, really. It's after a few years just a playground of all kinds of applications and Lego blocks you can install. And that's the goal, right? Giving you as much much knowledge so we can just say, all right, I have my own free operating system. I can do whatever I want with it because I get it. I know what to do. I know how to fix it and all that. So we are on, um, well, <laughs> we're on Cinnamon. This is Arch Linux, Control T, not working. Why? GNOME Terminal is not installed. Those are the blocks you're missing on the cheat sheet, it says what you're missing. But basically, we have our termite in here. Well, not termite because this is not Arch Linux. 
we have only one thing x term so yes <coughs> we're very glad we have that right <coughs> oh, sorry <coughs> Ooh. let's see if we can do something about my keyboard first so settings key key keyboards keyboard where would I look for my keyboards keyboard layout <coughs> still not gone <coughs> I'm fighting against cuffs. So, <clears throat> Belgian. That's the one. You, you're out. Nah. That's cool. So, Azerti. Yay. Uh, <clears throat> whoa. <clears throat> what was I going to install? Ah, yeah. So, pseudo Pacman, let's get first our updates in. If there are any updates okay and so the pseudo pacman it relies on gnome terminal that's cool all terminals are cool i'm not gonna put a favor one above the other it's just a terminal as long as it works who cares right so right mouse click open in terminal now gnome terminal is there and we are off we're good to go I do hate the wallpaper so customize um, no nope. uh, let's go one up we can't go up can we let's try that again in here so backgrounds default background is that guy uh, anything is better okay so we don't have any icons and themes and all that but what I wanted to test out is something I just made a new version of so Control Alt F. Well, that's our keyboard shortcut for Firefox. So Eric, that's not going to work on Arch Linux. Okay, sure. So we build it up again, right? So we have lots of um, tweaks and well, uh, keyboard shortcuts since we have. Uh, I should do a recount, but um, at least seven or eight styling window managers which rely on keyboard shortcuts not intended with a menu or a button or anything like it they are they have but it's not really it needs keyboard shortcuts so Firefox is there so internet oh yeah we have it and I want to try again and that's an extra video of course for it that's Arco Linux info and we have if you're an Arch Linux so if you venture your way into Arconix D, so the phases, take a look at all the learning phases we have here. At some point in time you say, I'm gonna try myself an Arch Linux installation, and that's what we've done with the video uh, that we've just made here, how to install Arch Linux with BIOS and install Deeping. So it's an all-in-one, which means I start with downloading Arch Linux ISO and I install it completely till we have Deeping. Now I, what I want to do and try now <coughs> is go to the downloads. We have something special, download apps. Anybody that's going the Arch Linux way can install an Arch Linux Spices application. Okay, what does that do? It says here, how to download, install and use the Arch Linux Spices tool to be able to install our Arch Linux packages. Because at some point in time, you say, ah, oh, it was so nice to have this or that or that, right? So you want to install elements from Arco Linux and we call that spicing up Arch Linux. So I'm installing this package with sudo pacman minus u, right? Remember the word, you install this, it's from u and all that. So it's that's the switch you need to have, not an s, but a u. Now that's installed, I wanna try it out. So, spices, Arch Linux spices. Of course, there is no icon for it. It's an Arch Linux thing. So what it is going to do is it's going to ask to the key servers online, uh, get me all the keys and trust Arch Linux key. But this takes a while. So that's one thing. Two, in my case in Belgium, when in Telenet here, the internet service provider I have, is going to block the key servers. I get no response, but I fixed it with this thing. So normally you don't need to run number two. 
but if number one is not successful first do number two then right so i know already i need to do this so i'm gonna jump ahead here so key service with ports have been added to etc pacman.d gnu pg gpg conf go and have a look what we've added there just three lines just some uh, some some urls with uh, the ports now with that in place i can give this a try number one is gonna take a lot of time well it depends really every video is different to just check it out but this is not the end result the end result should be three hashtags here three hashtags there saying everything is okay but it takes a while that's it that's what i want to see at this point in time Arc Linux key trust now you can go ahead and add Arc Linux repos because Control T is that working? It is working. Pseudo Pacman minus S YYU. What do you see? There are no repos from Arco Linux. Not yet. When I do this, I press the button and then say go ahead, add it to it. And I do this again. He's still busy there, you see? He's busy. Now I do it again. Then you see I have more. Uh, places repositories where i get my data from okay so all the software that's on article linux pseudo pacman minus s article linux all the software is now possible to install on an arch linux based system these are lego blocks your lego blocks my lego blocks you mix them around and you get your own operating system the way you like it that's always the intention not to restrict freedom but give freedom so add article Linux repos done that get the latest article Linux bash rc replace the current one well if you want to see the current one it's really um nothing right really it's it's really i would say a disaster but that's not the proper word either let me get for instance ctrl t sudo pacman minus s let's get sublime text in that's coming from the repo from us right i have now sublime text i can say open it up with sublime text now so this is it this is your bash rc so no 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 i want to get the latest arco linux bash rc and replace the current one this is now the latest bash rc with up all update youtube extract whatever rip all that scale it's all there that's gonna work and then last, last but not least the applications that are in the bash rc need software so i'm gonna install the software as well and in this case uh, yaybin for example is also going to be installed so we have a yes an aur helper so we see what's happening here all right and that's it and we can have a look uh, to go for yay and then install let's see what comes up and we have here yay that's working right so it means if that's working up all is going to work as well update is going to work and all that you see if you type up all you see this line here we don't need that line in the sense that it's finished the spices tool we don't need it anymore so pseudo pacman minus remove article linux spices stuff is out and we are fully still yet at this point in time except maybe the bash rc and some software we're still quite um, arch linux but we can uh, get stuff in from cinnamon right it's um, a cinnamon system if you want to look the layout the icons the themes and so on it's still a lot of Sherlock Holmes work to do, but it's fun to figure out how does it all fit together and how do you get a system that you like. And that's it. Have fun, guys.